entrepreneurial life not as fantastic as everybody on YouTube and on social media telling you what's going on. everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Yulia you're my channel Miss Dubly and this is a new vlog it's been a while it's been around three months or even more since the last time I filmed a vlog it's been a minute since the last time that I just shared with you more things apart from my fashion passion so today is the day we're gonna do a lot of things today and uh, if you want to know what happened in this three months and what life updates I have. I really hope you'll stay to watch this video and if you're new here, welcome. Let me introduce myself. I'm a content creator, I'm a personal fashion stylist and a lot of things more that I'm also gonna explain in this video. And yeah, I upload several videos per week even though this past three weeks I wasn't really consistent but there is a reason for that too. So you guys, it's Thursday 8th of April, it's around uh, 11 a.m. I really tried to wake up earlier this morning but it didn't happen, it just didn't happen because last night I stopped working at midnight. So today I woke up at 7.30, I put myself together, had some coffee, had some breakfast and here I am. We're about to leave the house, I need to shoot a lot of content, I need to edit, I need to take pictures and I'm gonna also share with you some new in fashion just in a second because today I'm not working in my corporate job. For those who have followed me for a while, you probably know that I quit my job back in August for many, many, many reasons. And uh, I tried to pursue my dreams and to work for myself and be a personal stylist and content creator and blah, blah, blah. I want to talk about that a little bit uh, more in depth a little bit later. And yeah, I'm going to talk a lot <laughs> in this video. I'm sorry about that. But I went back to work for the same company that I worked for, but this time I'm working three days per week. I'm working Monday, Wednesday and Friday for them and um, Tuesdays and uh, Thursdays. I'm working on my other projects and right now I would say that I have four jobs. I work for my corporate company, I work as a production coordinator for a fashion brand, I work as a content creator even though my income as a content creator is not that high but I'm definitely putting a lot of effort in that and um, I'm starting to receive some income already, mm, thanks God. I'm also starting my personal fashion stylist project so that's my third job and my fourth job. It's something that I'm gonna share with you t later today because, well, I definitely need to find some time to do that too. So I'm ready to leave the house. I am gonna shoot some pictures by myself. Before that, I was filming with my husband, but my husband just hates this so much that I figured out how to do it by myself. So I'm gonna shoot by myself. I'm gonna film some videos by myself. And then we're gonna go back home and uh, edit. But before leaving the house I wanted to share with you something that I already posted on my Instagram. If you're not following me on my Instagram and on my TikTok you're missing a lot of fashion. I'm posting on a daily basis, I'm posting pictures, I'm posting reels, a lot of stuff. So yeah definitely follow me over there too. And on my Instagram I already told you that I got a new coach back and that social media, especially Instagram, made me buy this and uh, if after this video you will want mm, one of this I don't blame you you can blame me this is my second coach bag I already have one that I got last year and uh, let me show it to you I got this beautiful absolutely stunning coach bag look at this and uh, if you will tell me that this is the first time that you're seeing this bag I will not believe you that means that you are not on Instagram, that you are not on TikTok, that you are not on YouTube because I saw this bag, this shape, all over the places and uh, I just had to buy it. I have it for a week and I love it, you guys. I love the colors, I love the shape and I love the size. This is the Coach 
tabby leather 26 millimeters bag i got it at macy's for an amazing price i'm gonna talk about that in a second but i really really like it first of all i really like the color combination it's all brown tones in just one bag and uh, it makes it really wearable you can wear it with lots of your outfits i love the gold hardware i do wear more gold than silver and i really like the size of it it seems like no not a really big bag but honestly it fits a lot it has a lot of pockets we have one pocket here and then we open it and then we have another pocket right here you have a shoulder strap and you have three compartments over here so the first one then you have one zipped one and the third one and uh, one little pocket right here it's a leather bag uh, inside it's just fabric it's not suede i like that you can wear it just with this shirt strap i love it i also like that you can definitely wear it as a clutch or you can wear it with this long strap coach came out with a different design like really similar shape but the logo is also made in leather those are really beautiful ones too but i decided to try it with this one and probably who knows i will get the other one i really don't know but i really really like this one and i'm really happy with it i got it at macy's as i'm telling you and i got it with an amazing discount right now macy's has it with a 40 percent discount that's why i just really wanted to share it with you as soon as possible because they still have it yesterday i checked and they have it they have it in two colors they have this color combination and uh, another one that it's a little bit more burgundy or something like that the original price of this bag is 400 dollars if i'm not wrong i believe it's 400 dollars and i got it for 200 37 dollars amazing discount 40 percent off and uh, if you like this bag this is your moment i didn't know if i'm gonna keep it or not but honestly i just can't stop wearing it it looks so nice the quality is beautiful and i just love it seriously so if you're thinking i'm getting this bag i think this is the moment so we're definitely gonna be shooting this baby right here today i have four outfits to shoot right now it's 11:30 and the lighting is not the best so probably i'm gonna do two that i need for today and uh, the other two i'm gonna probably shoot later let me show you my first outfit uh that i'm gonna be shooting this outfit is gonna be for a reel so i need to take some pictures and then film the reel and edit and all that kind of stuff i'm sorry about i have my lighting and i have my steamer that doesn't look really aesthetic but that's the real life you guys so this is my first outfit that i'm gonna be filming for a real love it i just got these pants yesterday these jeans are from h&m and i'm absolutely obsessed i'm gonna show them to you in my h&m haul i love h&m jeans they fit is just amazing then i'm wearing this top it's from mango i got it last year and i'm wearing this oversized blazer from asos that i also showed you a couple of times already and then i'm wearing this super cool mules from vince camuto you guys these are the most comfortable heels the heel is not really high i think they look super stylish i think they look super super nice this is the first time me wearing them the quality of vince camuto is always the best and I just love them. They have them in several colors, but I got these at Amazon. I'm gonna link them below as the rest of my outfit. And of course, by the way, I'm gonna also link my coach bag in the description box, so definitely check it out. And uh, then I'm gonna be wearing this white bag. I got it at Ross, you guys. I was buying home stuff and I found this super cute Bottega Veneta dupe bag. Really love this look. And then we have an, this dress from H&M that I need for, to film for a video. Really Jack and Moose vibes. This look right here. This H&M top and Lulu's pants that I want to take some picture with with my coach bag for the thumbnail of this video. And then I have this look right here. This is a midi skirt and uh, this blouse that I need for a reel that I'm planning to upload tomorrow. We're finally ready to leave the house. I'll see you around there taking some pictures by myself. It's gonna be fun, I promise you. Spot number one. It's a good spot. It's a clean wall and uh, there is always shade. So when I know that it's gonna be tricky to take some pictures, I'm always coming here. So yeah, outfit number one, let's do this. Okay, outfit number one. 
done. That was pretty fast when you have the location and you have the light. It's just really fast. Here you have the results and if you want to see more, go to my Instagram. And now I need to find another location to shoot the outfit number two. Okay, outfit number two ready. I'm wearing this black dress that I also got yesterday at H&M and that I love. Also gonna link it in the description box. And in this dress, I definitely need to film a video and take some pictures because this is gonna be a part of my YouTube video. And I think I'm gonna be doing that over there. That building, I think it can look kind of cute. We have some flowers over there. So yeah, let's try that out. much later in the day it's around 6 something p.m. it's been another crazy day uh, it's been my content creation day I filmed a lot I did pictures I filmed a YouTube video I didn't have enough time to edit a video so I'm gonna edit tonight and I'm gonna post it tomorrow morning I decided I'm gonna focus on other things on uh, filming a vlog video and um, my other projects. So let's have a little chit chat and let's talk about life, what happened, what I'm doing right now and all that kind of stuff. Uh, some of you asked me why I'm not doing vlogs and that's just because I'm uh, adjusting to my new schedule. Three weeks ago I started working again for my company it's a fashion brand based here in LA. I worked for them for one year and a half, then I quit. And six months after, I'm working for them again. And you're gonna ask me why? It's the entrepreneurial life not as fantastic as everybody on YouTube and on social media telling you? Or what happened? You don't wanna pursue your dreams? Or what's going on? Basically, the answer is really easy. I went back to a corporate life just because I run out of money and I don't want to ask my husband for more money. That's the reality and that's the truth. So I took some decisions and I decided that I need to change something to feel better with myself. I told that many times that things got my husband can pay our rent and my husband can pay our food. I'm not that type of person who likes or who feels comfortable asking for money to your partner. And there is nothing wrong with that. It's just me, how I feel about that. So I had to take some decisions because the entrepreneurial life, yes, you guys, it's not easy and it doesn't happen from one day to another and uh, not even from one month to another. I'm uh, trying to create this styling project. I'm trying to work as a personal stylist, but let me tell you something. During COVID and during the pandemic, nobody is thinking about what I am wearing. So it wasn't easy to 
do anything. And during the six months that I wasn't working for my company, I had to go to Spain for one month and a half because I had to go to get my passport. Then we had COVID, me and my husband, so that was another month and a half. And uh, the rest of the time, I was trying to figure out oh, how the heck I'm gonna do this. When people tell you that the hardest decision that you had to do is, is just to quit your job, that's not true. I mean, quitting your corporate job is hard, I'm not gonna lie, and it took me a good amount of time to take that decision, and uh, I'm super thankful for all the support that I have from my husband that I was feeling comfortable with that decision, but it's not the hardest part. The hardest part is to figure out from now on how you're gonna make money. Working for somebody, it's the easiest. I tried both, I tried to work for myself and I tried to work for somebody, and working for somebody, it's much, way much easier than trying to figure out how to make your own money by yourself. Just personal opinion, just personal experience. With that said, I'm thinking of, of quitting YouTube, I'm thinking of quitting being a personal stylist, a content creator, no. That's not the case, I still believe in me, I still believe in my dreams, and I still want to do what I want to do. I still want to be my own boss, I still want to have my own schedule and uh, I still want to figure out how the heck I'm gonna do this. And it's not an excuse but 2020 was a really hard year for everybody and um, from my perspective, from my really personal perspective, uh, trying to promote in any way a, a styling project, it was pretty difficult. So I think that now, when I get into the end of this, I think it's gonna be a little bit easier. To promote your business, something yours, you definitely need to have money to do some kind of marketing, to do whatever. And even though I know that my husband is there and he is willing to support me and to help me, I do feel better if I work my ass off even harder, but pay my own things. So what happened with my company? They called me after six months, they called me because a person just suddenly left. She is actually on a medical leave. Apparently she's fine. I don't know the details and uh, they really don't know how long it's gonna be that and for now I'm just staying in that company uh, for three months but I don't know if it's gonna be longer, if it's gonna be shorter, I have no idea right now. But right now I'm working Monday, Wednesday and Friday for that company. I'm doing um, a little bit more than 24 hours weekly and that's one way of my income. I'm doing the same thing, I'm a production coordinator, but I'm working with a different team and um, so far so good. Honestly, I work from home, I don't need to go to the office. Obviously, I'm doing this for the money, I'm not doing this to build a career in that company. That's not the idea that I have in mind right now. Right now, I feel comfortable and uh, uh, I just doing this for money because yeah, sometimes you do work just for money and I started uh, one week after the call and uh, before that I was seeing myself in this situation where I need to ask my husband for money and uh, I wasn't feeling 100% comfortable with the situation that I was in. I was seeing that my business, my own company is not getting there and uh, I'm not succeeding in my content creation career or at least as fast as I would like to. That's happening but really slowly. I'm getting some really small brand deals and some uh, gifting collabs but we're getting there. We will get there, hopefully or not, I don't know but yeah, I'm not quitting of that either. So yeah. If you like my videos and if you want to support my dreams, definitely make sure you're subscribed because you guys, I'm working my ass off 24 seven. I'm not even kidding you. But I told you at the beginning that I have four jobs. So my first job, let's say it's my corporate job. My second job is my personal stylist services that I'm offering to everybody. Obviously, I'm more focused on LA, but I also offer online services. So if you're interested, if you like my style, and if you're looking for style transformation, definitely 
visit my website missw.com over there you will find all the information that's my second way of trying to make some money my third way is the content creation so instagram tiktok youtube that all of them together are starting giving me some income and um, i'm starting doing a little bit better but that was definitely not enough to support myself so before my company called me i found another way how to gain some money and I decided to do Instacart. For those who are not familiar with what Instacart is, Instacart is a service that offers you a grocery delivery. So I'm Insta shopper and what I do is to go to a grocery store and buy everything that the customer wants and deliver everything to the customer's store. I'm doing Instacart and I'm not ashamed of that. I feel better doing that than asking for money so that's my fourth way of income right now i'm not gonna go into details if you want to know more about instacart there is a bunch of videos about instacart but you definitely can ask me in the comments if you're interested what i like about instacart is that i can work when i want i can work at seven in the morning i can work on sundays i finish my corporate job let's say from 6 37 till 10 p.m. I'm doing Instacart. And uh, in the morning, I'm trying to create some content. And uh, during Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm trying to create content and to upload all the content possible to all the platforms because right now it's freaking crazy. I remember like two or three years ago with the one picture per day on Instagram, it was more than enough. And right now you have pictures, you have stories, you have reels, you have TikToks, you have YouTube video, you have <laughs> YouTube short videos and you have all of that and you need to create a beautiful thumbnails and it's a lot. You guys, content creation, it's a lot. At the end I work 24-7 trying to do everything at the same time and um, trying to do my best. Do I feel stressed? It's not that I feel stressed. I do like to feel some kind of pressure, but I'm really tired. Like physically, I'm really tired, but I'm fine. I'm doing well. I'm doing good. I, I feel like I'm in a better position right now than two months ago. That's the, the current situation. What it's gonna be in one month? I have no idea. So yeah, that's basically my life update. I think that's it. I think I talked a lot. So let's start working again. This was a little break for me. Let's take some pictures and then you're gonna come with me and uh, do Instacart and I think I'm gonna finish th uh, this video tomorrow. So now starts the second part of my day. <laughs> Okay, it's 7.30, I just finished filming and I'm in my Instacart app uh, waiting to see if there is any patches available, which I don't have any yet. So I'm just wait here for like 30 minutes or 15 minutes. I'm not gonna move anywhere, I'm just gonna change and uh, see if I'll have any patch available, which normally it takes it like 10, 5, 10 minutes and I'll get something. Hello you guys, 
I'm gonna finish this vlog here. I'm refilming this part because I filmed it and when I started editing that part, the final part of this vlog, I was like, I don't like it, so here I am. You're gonna see this vlog today, Wednesday. Just wanted to explain you what I just showed you. I also explained you that I'm trying to work as a personal stylist and that it was pretty difficult right now, but I'm trying to um, promote my business and promote my um, services in uh, different ways. And one of the ways that I'm doing that is by delivering flyers. These beautiful flyers right here. I did the design and uh, I printed them and uh, I'm uh, delivering them in my neighborhood. I live in Redondo Beach for those who are new here and uh, yeah, around South Bay area of LA. And uh, I think it's a pretty great way to people get to know you. I think it's something beautiful and nice that catches your eye and uh, at least you will take a look. Mm, I don't know if you will call me or if you will contact me, but at least you will take a look. And that's one of the ways how I'm trying to promote my personal styling services business. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's a good idea? Okay guys, I'm gonna finish filming, I'm gonna finish editing and so you finally can see a vlog and new content on my channel. I'm sorry, I definitely need to get on a schedule to be more consistent and to get back to my two weekly videos. I promise I'm working on that. But I definitely hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed knowing a little bit more about me, spending more time with me and all that kind of stuff. And if you did, please make sure to give a big thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. I think I talked enough in this video, but I just had to. <laughs> I had too many things to tell you. Sorry, if you hear a noise, that's my husband. I believe I will be able to upload a new style video this Friday morning. I really hope you enjoyed it and uh, I definitely hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.